And, you know, just, just to talk about substance for a minute, th this is the most important election in our lifetime. I mean, we've got the country on the line here, yeah. uh, economically in terms of our domestic policy. Uh, this, is, this is an absolutely feeble recovery that we're in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, people, people say that uh, there's a modest uh, uh, improvement in the economy only because Ben Bernanke announced quantitative easing three, uh, and as, as uh, some astute people have put it, it's kind of a sugar high for the stock market. Uh, we're going to pay for it in terms of uh, inflation later, uh, and all of the economic signals are really pointing in the wrong direction. So we could end up uh, if in a second Obama term with Jimmy Carter's first term, high inflation, low economic growth, wonderful for four more years. Uh, but in the worst case that Obama does win, it is critical that we hold on to the House and pick up the Senate. Uh, and that just underlines why Patrick's race is so important. It's also, though, critical for our national security. And we've seen, uh, just in the past three weeks, Obama's entire foreign policy unravel in the Middle East. Uh, we, we've seen what, uh, what, what really is going on. Uh, not this uh, fantasy narrative that the war on terror is over, that Al-Qaeda has been defeated, uh, that uh, sweetness and light have broken out in Libya. Uh, look, uh, we're all glad that Osama bin Laden is dead, and I, I give uh, credit to the President for making the call that allowed the Navy SEAL mission to go forward. But let's face it, faced with the facts that, uh, that he had about that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, 99.99% uh, .99 of the American people would have made exactly the same call. So uh, the most you can say is he was lucky to have had the opportunity to give the go-ahead to that mission. That's not a foreign policy success for him. It's a foreign policy success for our intelligence community, for our military that were after Osama bin Laden for 10 years and finally got him. I like to say Obama taking credit for that is like Richard Nixon in the summer of 1969 taking credit for Armstrong and Aldrin landing on the moon. You know, he happened to be around when we made it to the moon, but it was John Kennedy ten years before who said he would make it uh, America's goal to land on the moon and, and return safely within a decade, and we did it. Um, and it was a credit to everybody involved with it, but, you know, Richard Nixon was just standing around when they happened to go up and come down, which is roughly the equivalent of uh, Obama's contribution to the, to the Navy SEAL team. So you can say that uh, Osama bin Laden was killed while Obama was president, but not because he was president. Uh, and then it drops off rapidly after that, and uh, we've just seen in this uh, tragedy in Libya um, and the aftermath, which is either a cover-up, that's one explanation, uh, or it's ideology. It's the same ideology, the same distorted worldview, the same idea that terrorism is not a threat to the United States that led them to underestimate the security threat that our personnel in uh, Libya faced and, and led to the tragedy that we saw there, led to uh, a, a, a radical demonstration in Cairo, that uh, breached the embassy's uh, compound, uh, tore down the American flag, hoisted the black flag of Al-Qaeda, happened all over the region. The best the administration can do is say people were offended by this uh, trailer for, for some movie that nobody's ever seen. Um, a complete pretext if there ever was one. There's no doubt that we face uh, the threat of uh, radical Islamicism across the Middle East and really around the world. Uh, we still face Iran making enormous progress toward a nuclear weapons capability, uh, and our president is so busy campaigning that he doesn't have time to meet with Prime Minister Netanyahu, whose country faces an existential threat uh, from a nuclear Iran, and doesn't have time apparently to meet with uh, anybody else except the ladies of The View. Uh, you know, 